Hey everyone, beautiful summer day out here in the park in Chessington and so I'm going to talk you through how to play at least the first half of Crazy Army by Ed Lemley um, popularized by Steve Gadd. So this is the half that you normally hear Steve Gadd doing in his solo. If you could play this half you can easily work out the rest of the solo yourself. So let's get straight into it. The solo is a rudimental solo and so you're going to need to have some rudiments. <laughs> so the most important rudiments to have are the seven stroke roll, led with your left hand, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Be very confident with that one. You'll also need to be able to play a flammer cue. And you'll also need to have flam taps down and also watching out that you get your stick heights all right for all of these things and you'll need to have paradiddles and flam paradiddles mainly flam paradiddles so you must aim to have all of these really comfortable at around 85 to 90 beats per minute now the check pattern for the seven stroke roll is to go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So what I've found when I'm teaching this is that people struggle playing the solo really slow because the rolls are quite hard to do slow. It's quite easy to push out a seven stroke roll at 90 beats per minute. It's a lot harder to do it slow. And still get the phrasing sounding nice. So what I want you to try to do to learn the solo is we're going to um, play the whole solo with check patterns first. Okay, so instead of going, we're going to go. I'm just talking about the first sort of couple of bars of the solo. The original solo has two seven stroke rolls, then a flammer cue, and then a flam tap. Let's put that together. But now we can do that really slowly if we want to really master the um, articulation, the, the phrasing, but we can do this with just the check pattern for the seven stroke rolls. I like swinging it. But don't do that too often. So if we set the metronome at something like 60 beats per minute, and I'm going to have it on a 2-4 setting so that it's got a march feel to it. One, two, one and two. Anti to one, anti to two. One, two, one and two, anti to one, anti to two. One, two, one and two, anti to one, anti to two. Now we do them as rolls. One, two, one and two. So if you can get that started strongly like that with good strong seven stroke rolls starting in the right place. The rest of the solo tends to flow from that. So now I'm going to play the first quarter of the solo or half of what we are going to be dealing with and I'm going to play it all as check patterns at first and then I'll switch to the, the proper roll. Uh, let's do it at 85. One, two, one and two. Rolls. Now let's look at the advantage of being able to play the check patterns. I can play this much slower now if I want. I'm going to bring it all the way down to 50 beats per minute. One, two, one and 
two, and into one, and into two. So my advice, you've got the printout in front of you, is to slow it right down like I've just done and concentrate on getting your flams in the right direction and the phrasing, especially the dynamics of your flam cue. Get all that in the bag and, and the starting points of every, all the seven stroke rolls. Once that's in place, you can bump the tempo up to 85, play the whole solo with check patterns at 85 and when that's comfortable, convert all the check patterns into seven strokers. And it'll sound something like this. One, two, one and two. Well, I hope that's been helpful.